The city of Pikeville is currently attempting to acquire grant money from FEMA for a hazard mitigation project. Over the years, sediment has accumulated in the city's waterways, causing the likelihood of flooding to rise. With this grant money, the city can begin construction to clean out the sediment and restore the waterways to proper working order. One of the main purposes of the cut-through project was um, to protect the city from flooding. And part of that is the, the pond itself is a remnant of the, the old river. And what that provides is storage when we have water inside the city from Town Mountain, from Cloy, from Harold's Branch, and the city itself. That uh, runoff goes into the pond, and so we keep it at a relatively low, uh, the water at a relatively low elevation. So as that water runs in, the water level can rise and provide storage. So we've, uh, we've been working on this grants in multiple phases, and the first phase is doing design work, and so we've accepted that grant and that's the work that's ongoing toward that grant. And then there's uh, the second phase will actually be construction. And um, that's the grant that we're, we're currently getting information for FEMA for that grant. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, your local vision experts. Experienced doctors using state-of-the-art technology. Choose from top designer frames from Oakley, Ray-Ban, Nike, and more. We accept Medicaid and Medicare. Plus, most insurances are accepted. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, next to Tractor Supply. So far, the city has conducted much environmental and historical research to provide FEMA with the necessary information to receive grant money. The process may be slow, but city officials remain adamant about the project. Anytime you're dealing with the federal government, of course, there's um, a lot of you know, I's to dot and T's to cross. And so we've had to do um, quite a bit of uh, environmental research, historical research to see you know, what's been there in the past and just uh, the consultant that we're working with has a lot of experience in these areas and they've worked through that process with us and it's, it's taken quite a bit of time to get to this point but we're again we're awarded the design and we're ready to get that work done and uh, we're hoping that maybe in the next six to twelve months that we'll get the construction uh, uh, grant awarded to us as well. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.